Welcome. My name is Al Rodenberg, and this is a series of new video podcasts introducing entrepreneurs and business owners from all over the world. Today, I'll be visiting with Jessica Hoagland. Did I pronounce your last name correctly, Jessica? Yes, sir, you did. Okay, great. Um, Johnny and Jessica Hoagland began their Conroe, Texas branch of Ranger Guard in August of 2022. They have branch offices in Conroe and College Station. What they told me is security is not just a business for us. Tragically, we understand personally the importance of protecting your environment. Our daughter was a victim of a violent crime while inside her own apartment. Our goal is to ensure the security, safety, and well-being of all personnel, occupants, visitors, and their premises. We strive to make the world a safer place. Ranger Guard provides a complete security package tailored to your specific needs. We are committed to 24-7 assistance. We believe in maintaining the quality of service, which we promote. We build close, respectful relationships with our personnel and give them our support so they may better serve our customers, all while ensuring accountability, deterrence, and peace of mind. So, Jessica, this is uh, sounds like a new adventure for you, right? Um, yeah. what, what did you do prior to this? Prior to this, I worked in the school district with special education students. Oh, wow. Uh, to be successful in the classrooms. Wow, wow. So are you originally from Conroe or the Houston area? Or My adult life, I've uh, lived in the Conroe area the um, mm -hmm. whole time. I grew up in, um, in Tower County um, near Woodville, Texas. Oh, so wow. So okay. place in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you, you've you really seen a lot of change in Conroe then, I would think. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Growth like crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard that. Um, so how would your family and friends describe you? Um, they would probably say that I'm reserved, uh, have a professional demeanor, integrity, compassionate. Great. And when you were a child, did you think you would be doing this kind of work? Never. <laughs> what 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 did you dream about doing when you were a child? Uh, I dreamed about being a nurse. Oh uh, wow! Yeah. Okay. So it's like pretty much you seems like you've thought about service your whole life. I have. Yes, I, yeah. I think that's um, always been a part of in my life from a young child uh, giving back and helping others has always just been important to me. That's awesome. And what, um, following up on that, I mean, you've talked about being a service. Is there anything specific that you've been really passionate about in your life? Um, I guess I've been, a, I guess, a caregiver the majority of my, my yeah. life. Um, I've worked with, uh, with seniors, uh, I love working with uh, in the senior population, and like assisted living, independent livings, um, and then a, at the school working, um, you know, with the people who just need a little, little encouragement and a little boost in life. Uh, kind of like a big need, isn't there? Picking up, picking up people, you know, yeah, yeah. them see yeah. their value and worth. I, I know what that's like. I had to take care of my my former wife who died of cancer and. Uh, being a caregiver, I mean, I, I see that as an increasingly important role in many lives as mm -hmm. as our population ages. Um, who's been the most important person in your life? Um, the most important would probably be my, my dad. Uh, he really displayed uh, a true leadership in our and my with when I was growing up and still today, I mean, he's just a phenomenal leader, hard worker, uh, great provider, Christian man who, you know, he just uh, has a heart, loves everyone and encourages everyone he comes in contact with. That's awesome. Awesome. Um, so you talked a little bit about your daughter's situation. Um, was that a, what you would consider a, a major turning point in your life? It was, um, I'm a whole new person uh, because of the events that we went through with my daughter. Mm -hmm. um, 
prior, I was uh, really quiet, stayed in my shell, just kind of took care of my business. But, you know, it kind of, this event made me become more confident and educated and bold um, to be able to advocate um, better and stand up and that, um, be a stronger, stronger person. Um, sure. So it, it's kind of weird when you go through things, how it really affects your overall being and your, and your outlook. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah I, I totally understand that. Um, so tied to that, uh, what do you do to de-stress? Cause I'm, I'm sure there's no stress in your business, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love going to, I love the water. I love the beach uh, mm. and family time. Uh, try to squeeze in as much family time as we can. We have a huge family. So Dude, seven kids, oh, awesome. great kids. So they keep us kind of busy. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Um, so what, I mean, your, your business is growing. Are there things that you're looking for? um in your business that you you haven't accomplished yet what what are your goals with the business um our goal is um they, the term is 168 hour and that's kind of like 24 7 um mm -hmm. an hour jobs and our goal is to gain one of those a month uh in our area and so we're looking to expand from the spring area to dallas college station area to cleveland sure. just oh, the surrounding wow. areas um we focus a lot with um like construction sites um okay. trying to get tied in with some hoas mm -hmm. um some banks uh you know we're trying to just get our fillers out there and kind of let People know that we're around now. Um, and what, what is it? What is it you guys do exactly? So we have um, unarmed and armed security guards and bodyguards uh, oh. okay. patrol vehicles to where we can um, just do drive bys at night and check, make sure doors are locked and secured. Mm -hmm. uh, we can do like event security. Uh, we have capability of doing uh, electronic monitoring 24-7. We could talk uh, through speakers, through the cameras, and have someone just totally monitor that and be on the outlook for surveillance. Um, we have, I mean, it's a wide variety. We have a mobile command center, uh, like for the events and such, that we could put up and have cameras, and it could uh, oh, wow. be a two-mile radius. Um, and we just oh, that's awesome. bounce off each other. And so... Um, uh, we're real big into the tech technical side of it, uh, mm -hmm. of trying to use our resources because we know that's the way the world's going these days. Um, mm -hmm. But nothing will replace a person actually being on site to to the tour as well, you know. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah. so do you handle like like festivals and things like that? We have. We've just done our first one. It was with Boots for Troops um, last month. And I want to say there was in between 2,500 and 3,000 people there. And wow. so it was a pretty big event for our first one, but um, yeah. we handled it like champs, you know. Awesome. Um, and we worked with local law enforce enforcement, um, you know, oh, they okay. to handle some stuff. So we're trying, you know, we're building that relationship as well, um, kind of be a extra hands, you know, for situations at big events and such. Oh, that's wonderful. So what... Uh... What motivates you to keep going to do this every day? Um, well, it's only easy questions. No, <laughs> that's not an easy question. But um, I mean, you always want. We're striving to. Uh, my husband had this goal in mind of building this business, and uh, you always want to see it succeed, right? So, right. Um, we're just pouring our heart into it and we know it's going to happen. We know that, you know, the, the crazy world that we're in right now that, I mean, there's a need for, uh, for protection greater now than ever before. And so um, we just see the need and we want to make the world a safer place. So want to do our part. Awesome. What is there a, a myth or a misconception about your type of business? Um. 
Well, I would say that for the most part, I think people just don't understand that the, the difference in between off-duty police officers and security guards. I think they think majority of the time that they have to have an off-duty police officer to work events and such. And so I think they just don't, uh, maybe the education out there that our our capabilities of what we can do as security officers, you know, and that we're licensed by the state and um, what we can actually handle in in our regards. Um, okay. And so, but I think so many people just, they just, they just don't know that, you know. So are you able to work, um, I'll give you an example. Years ago, I was in charge of an event and uh, we had the bank president come out from Houston, uh, the, the, I can't remember, Cactus Jack, the precinct, the guy in charge of precinct four. Um, and we had about 500 people show up, but there was liquor served. And we were told this was in Harris County that there had to be uh, some type of police presence uh, at that facility, you know, because of the liquor. Mm -hmm. um, is that something you handle as well? It is. We, um, we're not big on huge events like that, that um, we're, liquors being distributed mm -hmm. and such right. um, because when it comes to you know there's a distinctive about officers if things gets out of control and our capability we would just call you know call in try to report the situation um, but we do like for wet weddings and different things if there's alcohol that is a restriction that most venues have is that um, security or law enforcement has to be on site in, in the event that something would happen. And we do um, we do act in that place. We oh, are, wow. The police are reactive. Yeah, my husband uh, says that we are proactive, whereas the, the police is considered um, reactive, you know. So, gotcha. yeah. We try gotcha. to prevent from happening and like come after that. Um, so, you're pretty much new in in your business. What what's been your approach to networking? How are you reaching out to different people? So we have joined the local Conroe Lake Conroe Chamber of Commerce. Ooh, uh, great. Uh, trying to get plugged in in the other networks within the the Conroe area. Uh, mm. Last week was the first time I attended the Conroe area uh, group, um, but I'm just trying to find out the different business groups uh, and then getting contacts and sending out to places and doing face-to-face -face visits as well uh, with the, content, the leads that they give me. Sure. You know? Yeah. And there, there's a lot of networking groups out there. Well, Jessica, thank you so much for spending time with me today. And uh, we're looking forward to uh, getting to know you better and more about your business and, uh, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You bet. Have a great day now.